All right, man, this should be fairly easy to guess this console. In fact, uh, it's not a, actually, it's not even an old car, 2014 model, but <laughs> I give some of it away. It is a four-door sedan car that Chrysler no longer sells. As you know, they got out of the four-door sedan and the two-door coupe cars for that matter, so there's no more Dart. They don't sell any more Darts or any more Chrysler 200s. Uh, by the way, that's what this is. This is a center console of a Chrysler 200. Okay, I can only assume it has the 2.4 liter engine in it. That's what they put mostly in it. But that two-door coupe Dart uh, came with different packages, so it could have any engine in it. But anyway, uh, we don't sell them anymore, So, but it's still a lot of them on the road. And in fact, uh, a lot of them still come, uh, come to the shop. From time to time i'm at uh brothers motors by the way so he gave me a call and told me to come out and check this uh for some reason you know he uh, i tend to keep an eye or keep check and you know checks on his uh dodge chrysler and jeep models all right i normally do the diagnosis on those but this one is in for overheating coolant leak uh steam from under the hood smoke uh well i guess smoke is the steam so I didn't want to leave it idling long because if there's a leak, it's likely low on coolant. And we don't, you do not want to leave a car idling that long when you have no coolant in it. Also, they said the heater don't work. Well, the heater will not operate if there's not sufficient coolant in the cooling system. Because as you know, the heater core is dependent on coolant. Antifreeze, whichever one you want to call it. The heater core is dependent on it. So you will not have any heater if you're low on coolant. So what I'm going to do is naturally verify the complaint, but we cannot do that on this one. I do not want to run the car long or let it idle or any of that. So I'm going to rely on my God-given tool, which is my eyesight. Okay, my eyesight. I'm going to use that tool to do a real good visual inspection. In some cases, when you're chasing coolant leak, guys, you gotta, you should uh, pressurize the coolant system. Okay, use a, a coolant pressure tester. And all you're doing is simply pressurizing the system. So uh, wherever the weakest point in the coolant system, uh, the leak should be, should come from that point. That's why I say a good visual inspection will go a long ways. And that's what I'm about to do on this one. Okay, guys, so stay with me. Hang tight. I'm going to go to a little break right quick. And by the time I get back, or by the time y'all get back, or by the time this break is over, we will be under the hood doing a good visual inspection. All right? Stay with me. All right, guys, thanks for staying with me. Thanks for hanging in with me. Doing your visual inspection, like I say, you really want to look around. You might even have to raise the car in the air to get a real good visual inspection. But uh, I know I mentioned pressure tests. Well, this system here or this reservoir here, uh, you will need a special adapter uh, to pressurize this cooling system. It's not your typical radiated cap pressure system. All right. And as you can see, it is low on coolant. So get you a good visual inspection in. Let me see. Uh, get this off. Ooh, I see wetness around in this area. Oh, I see coolant down in that area. That is the area of the thermostat. Okay, but let's let's continue to look. Let's don't assume anything because assumption can get you in trouble. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is your coolant leak. Okay, this happens to be a bypass hose, which looks like it comes from, uh, looks like maybe the thermostat. You know, on the thermostat, there's a nipple that transfer coolant, uh, gets to the heater system right that looks to be 
where that's coming from. Yeah, this hose is just broke. It's just nipple, man. Ah, this cheap plastic. This is one thing I do not like about Chrysler. They've always had problems with their connections, the heater hoses, things like that. So before I can do anything, because you got to fix, I mean, you can continue your visual inspection. In fact, I'm going to let the car in the air and check some more. But before you can really do anything as far as leaks, you got to get this fixed and then refill the system up, pressurize it if you can, if you got the adapter for that, and simply do your test all over again. So what we've got to do is simply call this a starting point. In the dealership, we use the term start here. So this is exactly where we got to start. We got to get this hose replaced, refill the system with coolant, and retest the system. All right. So there's really no further I can go. I can only with visual inspection. Uh, I will let the car up in the air. But if I see coolant all in this area, that can really trick you. So you got to be careful doing it that way. All right. So let's get this fixed, and then we'll uh, we just have to start a new or do another diagnosis after this is fixed all right so what i'm gonna end up recommending right now is of course this hose we got to get this replaced this bypass hose and uh because it's winter time i'm gonna recommend that they get their cooling system winterize that's where we go in and flush all the old coolant out and put in new coolant uh coolant flush basically i'm gonna use the machine to flush the whole system now uh as far as thermostat goes um you can recommend the thermostat but you got to be careful as far as uh, price rise because that is extremely expensive i will check any for any fault codes now if i see a p0128 yes i will recommend a thermostat but uh, for now i'm gonna go dig into the customer and find out the history have they ever had it replaced if not then i will recommend getting it done so that's what I'm going to do right for, for right now, y'all. And I will get back with you. So let me take another break. Let me go up to the parts department and write this estimate out. Y'all hang tight, hang with me, and I will be right back. Stay with me. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, thanks for staying with me, y'all. I have since gave my estimate and tried to get all this stuff So Here's what I got. A new bypass hose okay you have no choice you have to replace this this is actually what's leaking so what I was also able to get say uh, was a cooling system flush now we use the Valvoline stuff you can use any kind of flush chemical of your own choosing all right so because this is a 2014 or higher we have to use uh, I recommend you using I think this is a 2014 car I highly recommend you use the Mopar 10 year antifreeze all right this is uh what chrysler calls for on this particular vehicle it's all based on year as you know the 2012 and maybe lower they've used the five-year cooling but this particular car they recommend the 10 year antifreeze so i'm gonna replace the hose um flush out the cooling system use the cooling system machine flush all the old cooling out and ladies and gentlemen we're going to fill it up uh with new coolant and now by the way when you're filling up with new coolant you must you must properly bleed the system okay i will have to use a special adapter to bleed this particular setup because remember we don't have the regular normal radiator cap setup so this will take a special adapter all right so i might as well get with it get busy get going replacing the holes flushing out the cooling system uh during the winter time i just simply named this a uh, winter rise in the cooling system <laughs> you just want uh extremely strong concentrated antifreeze in your car during the winter time antifreeze is basically what it says it is and what it does is uh anti-freeze it will not freeze and it also have a lot of additives in it to prevent corrosion and uh keep it clean actually so yeah it's uh Special stuff, especially this, uh, this 10 year antifreeze. Now, can you mix five year with 10 years? Uh, you probably can and probably won't hurt none, but I highly uh, recommend you don't or try not to. So, if you slip up and add a little, accidentally add uh, some to it, don't panic, don't worry, it's no big deal. Just 
going about your way all right so i'm gonna get work i'm gonna get to work y'all i'm gonna get busy and get this job wrapped up and finish up all right so thanks for watching comment subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next video